it's definitely good, but I, I would rather beat Michael with a um, 100 101 average than a 91 average. Uh, I mean, obviously, I think that the, the pressure of him doing his best tonight, trying to qualify um, to make the top four, got to him, and probably that's the only reason I beat him, let's be honest. Um, he's still the world number one by probably country miles uh, on the rankings list. But I think he, he as in performance wise, he's been caught up a lot now. I mean, if you look at um, Gizzy, Glenn, Peter Wright, uh, and Gary Anderson, and um, Aspinall, I think they're. And Ma Michael Smith can beat any of them. He's just missing a double here and there. But um, no, they're all fantastic. Um, I need to get myself uh, get myself ready, start practicing harder, and getting uh, more belief in myself, so I can uh, push these players and hopefully win more tournaments, win more majors, and you never know, just try and push myself onto the Premier League next year. Touching on what you said there, do you think it's the fact that the other players may be up their game rather than Michael's game being below what he thought you expected to be? No, uh, I mean, all you have to do is look at the averages. Uh, Michael Van Gerwen on a bad day hits a hundred average, and now he's hit ninety averages. So, uh, honestly, if I was to tell you the, the truth, I feel like um, Michael misses the crowd. If the crowd was back in there and he start and he smashes in a hundred and ten average, destroys uh, one of the top ten players in the world, um, you would turn around and say, "Well, every every thought I had on Michael is second thought." And, you just prove whatever we, what everybody knows. So listen, it could be the crowd not being in here. You mightn't get the same balls when you're not playing in front of the crowd. But Michael Van Gerwen's still uh, the best player in the world. Being six 0 up against the world of the position that not many players find themselves in, what's going through your mind in that situation? Well, it's, it's like being six 0 down. All honestly, I'm thinking. I, I, honestly, I stood on that stage and I'm six 0 Six it all up, at seven flag, it's his throw, and I'm thinking to myself, get him eight now. Um, but um, yeah, well, it wasn't to be, but um, I, I, after that, it's like I, started, uh, I was pushing and pulling before the game started and during the game. Wow. And I was doing the same at that stage, uh, it was just one of them things that uh, didn't happen. And uh, I was very fortunate that uh, Michael Van Gerwen was off his game tonight, and uh, I tried to keep it as steady as I could, and uh, luckily enough came away with a uh, result. On the whole, what do you, what do you take from this Premier League campaign? Uh, I take that, um, all honestly, uh, we have got the best um, nine players here, including Rob Cross. Um, I mean, obviously Rob's had maybe a, a bad run of form, but just before he came here, he had another um, son or daughter, I'm not sure, but. Um, maybe he's, he was distracted, but uh, listen here, if, if I was in the same boat as him, I'd be the exact same. The last thing I'd be concentrating on is darts. But um, you've definitely got the best nine players here. And, and for once, I'll try and include myself on it. And um, hopefully next year, I can try and push myself, push myself in and uh, include it again. But no, I, I've loved every minute, um, all honestly, and these last two weeks. And Milton Keynes spending it in that uh, practice room for every player. We we were there winding one another up because we spent so much time with one another. But I've en I've enjoyed every uh, every minute. Even though the first year I finished fifth, yes, uh, last year I finished fourth, and this year I finished eighth for enjoyment reasons. Uh, spending time with the players. This is probably my best year. Obviously, the results haven't went my way, but um, I've definitely enjoyed it. Thank you very much for your time, Darren.